the fascinating thing about violin making, as I found it, was collecting all the blocks and pieces of wood, building this instrument, finishing it off smoothly and carefully, stringing it up and then playing it, and finding that you had carved an instrument capable of producing lovely tonal sounds. Farming and fiddling Disney, Max. You have to farm to the best of your ability. But when you sit down at night, it's a great thing to bring your fiddle down and hear a tune, and you forget all about your day's worry if you've had you. It's a great thing to relax with. Did you ever practice scales? Or... Yes. Oh, oh, you did? Till I was sick to hear these things. But with most Scottish fiddlers have learned, have practiced scales. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I, don't, I think so. don't think so. If there wasn't so many people, I'd tell you exactly what I think a lot of it. <laughs> You don't know B from A. Yes, on the other hand, on the other hand, don't you think there is such a thing as too much uh, theory or, or learning? Yes, that doesn't yes, it doesn't spoil is. the spontaneity. I think I had too much theory. That is what's so wonderful, I find, about the Scottish fiddler, and that is that he plays like the bird sings, and the bird yes, sings yes. naturally, yes. and uh, naturally he, uh, the Scottish fiddler wouldn't be expected to <coughs> play the Beethoven concerto or the Elgar concerto, that's natural. But on the other hand, uh, the person who plays the Beethoven must play it eventually with the same spontaneity that the Scottish fiddler plays his own music. Next time, just an old-fashioned Scotch player. Yes, but that's the way you have learned to play the violin, the way the violin comes naturally. Ah, okay. so and that makes it very interesting ah, for wish, me. I wish I'd paid more attention, you know. Yes? I wish I had. What would you have done then? I'd have been a second man you in.
the, the player not the tune of what you think you can for it. The pinky. The pinky. You can't get anything out of that thing here. The canary. What that feeling is what the use at the. Uh, we have here tonight Mr. Yehudi Menuel. And it's a great honor to have to him here because he's the man. I think I've heard about this wonderful man, Sandy Mill, and that he is not only a wonderful musician, but that he keeps bees. Ah, oh, yes, yes, and yes. And I yes. think I think the sweetness of the honey comes out in the music that you're playing. Oh, I think so too. Yes. And also, the music that you're all playing comes more from your heart than your fingers. And I think that's a wonderful thing too. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Well, no, I'm handing this to you. Well. I have well, heard about this. Is, was a great I, honor given you by uh, the Bank of Town Council. A big money well, that makes well, you know. <laughs> well, well deserved, but I don't deserve it. Are you? You try them weird. Will it work? Do you think? I'm sure. I, I'm <laughs> so certain of it. Well, what? Let's uh, see. <laughs> what are we going to play? Well, let's see what happens. Tell me, how do we make them make more of the burls? They doesn't seem to be exciting enough. Ah, oh, well, they just they had no nabo. What? <laughs> no, they had no nabo like this. Yes, because yesterday Hector Lacanto uh, was telling me uh, so much about the burls, and he does them so elegantly, a young rather rather fast and, and elegant. Uh, These seem to be rather rather slow and a little heavier than yes, I expected. Yes, 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 but uh, well, it's difficult. Don't be too hard. Yes. You're a hell of a hard man. Oh, if you're just going, you're doing grand. I think I. Isn't he doing grand? Of course he is. Let's try the second half again. With the burn. Sound to the larim, to the larim.
it's very traditional, isn't it? The counter, the accent off the beat. Ram, da da ya da ya da 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 dim, da da ya da ya ram, da 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 dim. Always the accent off the beat, and then afterwards it comes on the beat. Da 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 dim, da dim, da ram, da da da. Can one make more of that? Is it possible to do even more? Ram, da da ya da ya da 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 dim, da da ya da ya da ram, da da ya da ya. Wouldn't that be in the spirit of the dance? Wouldn't it be? And would make the contrast with the ta da da ram, ba bum ba, which is right on the beat. Shall we try the uh, the cock of the north and get the accent on the on the upstroke actually? Great pleasure. In fact, I've rarely had so much fun with music. And now I would like to play something for you. I will play for you Neil Gow's Lamentation on the death of his second wife. I don't suppose I've ever played before so critical an audience with Neil Gow himself looking over my shoulder and you all in front of me. <laughs> 